everybody, welcome to this new video where Solaris Ray is uh, uh, discovering uh, Interstellar Space Genesis, uh, a brand new game that went out uh, yesterday from the um, uh, from on Steam, from Praxis, and it looks pretty cool so far. Uh, in the previous episode, we uh, encountered the humans. We had our first uh, uh, engagement. And we also discovered the Novas, which is a, a desert, race, which is desert race, which is situated here. Uh, and we are in pass of trying to colonize our first ice planet. So things are moving along pretty well. And in this actual uh, episode, what I think I will focus on is to show a little bit the new colonization aspect because we're going to colonize a new world and try to see if we can defend ourselves against the pesky humans. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to uh, to do the playthrough. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need to be careful with those humans. Uh, they defeated us and uh, I, I shot at them multiple times, but I were not able to hit them. So I don't know if it's because they had a uh, uh, they dodge or something like that. But uh, yeah, something was weird there. Um, but for now, the humans are here. And I may come back with, uh, with reinforcements. I think that's that's not necessarily a bad idea. Um, I'll resend this ship there and I will send that ship for interception. Okay, he wants to re-engage again. Okay, so our ship restarts. Fair enough. Okay, so I like this. This is where the enemy is. This is where the range... Oh yeah, show the ship attack range with active weapons. Show where enemy ships are targetable. Okay. Wonder, can I scan? I want to let him come towards us. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't know that scanning was... Did I click scan or flee? I don't get it. He left. Interesting. I think he left because... Um, yeah, there's two... Um, there's two ships now, so he doesn't want to take the battle. So, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, makes sense to me. Okay, so we have our survey ship that is constructed, and now we are working on the technological capital. Um... Perfect. That being said, I think I would like to have a destroyer constructed uh, pretty shortly, actually. I would like to have the destroyer constructed before the economic capital because I feel the conflict with the humans arising. Okay, we didn't find anything in sector C2. So to C2 here, but we're going to continue to explore. Why not? Let's explore. Ah, oh, sorry. Let's do this. I want to finish to explore this area. Okay, so we can colonize. So you can select the ship and press colonize. Select the, the planet that you want to colonize. Say yes, and boom. Okay. So we have colonized our first planet, which is great. We have plus 20% morale. Okay. Um, let's 
So the planet is stuff. No, it's sufficient. Uh, four units. Okay. Uh, plus 10 to 30% flat according to the planet mineral richness. 10 production point if ultra poor. 15 if poor. 20 if sufficient. Okay, so it's sufficient. So that's going to be plus 20 production point plus 10 in production as per asteroid production exploitation coming to colony. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Um, population growth 47, 35. Yeah, I think I think that's fine for now. We're gonna let it at the center. Oh, look at this! There's another race. Okay, so we discovered multiple people. So we have the Novas. Um, we have the Dragul, the Kahek, and the Moltas. I don't know where the humans are. Interesting. So this is the Dragul. Okay. Awesome. And you see, like, the fact that I have this uh, planet now that extend our supply area so I can send ship all the way there now which is super cool so we know that there is the Novas there the Dragos are there uh, I don't know who those guys are is it the KX looks like that's the KX now looks like it KX where are the Moltars? They are there. Okay. So if you expand, you see like, oh, okay, well, it's pretty small, right? In comparison to other games, it's pretty small. Just a few star systems and all that stuff. We don't know where the humans are, but since we, we found the humans here, I would not be surprised that they are there-ish. Um, that's just an assumption, though, so I'm not sure. Okay, so we made a colony, that's fine. Contact. We made a contact with the Molten Union. Okay. Rival New Settlement Report. Uh, you discovered a white dwarf in H2. 10 parsec. So that's a white dwarf, but it's in their area. So they must have colonized it. KX, okay, that's what I thought. The Diagonal. And all that was possible because I colonized that well, so that extended our range of research. Now, this is pretty interesting to us. Okay, so there's multiple things happening there. Leader approach, what do you say? Okay, this is another leader. And it's a little bit expensive. But I need a ship... Um, well, I already have a ship leader. This is another ship leader, but it's way better. Plus two in defense, plus one in attack, plus three in initiative, plus two in command. Um, he has plus one in initiative in explorer, plus 10% chance of finding something in the ruins. It's definitely better than our previous guy. And we are going to affect him to the other uh, frigates. And here we can have the destroyer. Uh, what is this? Infrastructure. Okay, so our um, colony has the possibility now to have an infrastructure focus. As you can see, this is an Echo 2 planet. So we have some bonuses with that. Um, that being said, I would like this planet to advance. Uh, plus one research point per population units to economy research. Economics research, okay. Plus one uh, research point per pop unit to construction research. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Plus one uh, per pop research to planetary engineering. Plus 10 planetary engineering flats support ships in the empire. Plus 25%. Terraforming and plus 25% eco engineering. Plus 20% building construction on the, the colony. 
Yeah, I will, I will go with the, the building construction in the colony. And lock silver perks plus 100% building production bonus on flat empire minus 15% minus on building. Okay, so the idea is trying to help the planet constructing what it needs to uh, uh, develop itself faster. And you can see that the population there is there and it's our natural planet, but because it's a AVG, they have weight at their feet saying like, yeah, it's a heavy environment so that we are being penalized, but we also have an Echo 2 planet, which give us bonus. So it's almost outweighed uh, the issues. So yeah. And if we go here, our planet is 12, right? And we have eight population out of 12, and we're gonna gain some population soon. So what I would like, I would like to go a little bit more in the development of the population. Um, so I still want production to go strong. Um, three turns. Yeah, I can sacrifice three turns for the technological capital and, ha and in order to have the population growth by one because that's going to produce a lot of things and help also with the production. So sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, founding compromises. Well, Fontaine of Youth. I presume that that's in our new colony. Um, Emperor. We thought we had to catalog all of the anomalies of uh, giving Jamie Nog 2, but our colonists are now reporting a mysterious pool that appears to have regenerating properties. It may be a remnant f from a precursor civilization or simply a natural phenomenon that is inexplicable to our current science. But this find could help our empire in m any number of ways. What should we do? Uh, okay, so we can increase morale, we can increase pop, or we can increase research per pop. Uh, then set a, a special laboratory. Okay, so honestly, uh, the with the population of the race that I have, the most uh, logical thing to do is the third one. Plus two research point per pop uh, in that colony. Now, uh, inaugurate two, uh, that's the colony. So they don't have necessarily a lot of pop. So I want a, 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 a growth of population, right? Because anything that can help the population grow faster would be appreciated. <laughs> because more pop means more production capabilities. And uh, yeah, that's pretty important. So now we have 32 turns before we can have a new uh, population growth. That being said, I think I want to go that way. Um, so we can still have a population growth and the robotics uh, factory working on. Uh, okay, 25 turns. Yeah, that's fine. I think I would just do that because just for two turns or, or four turns there are going to save a lot of turns for the robotics. So let's do that. Sounds like a better plan to me. Particle accelerator with no explosion propellant, uh, faster and a bit more powerful kinetic weapon. 10 damage, auto fire, arc, shield piercing, amount, uh, heavy mount, spinal mount, uh, kinetic. Perfect. All right. Now we are looking for the surface surface vault, which will be research in two turns, and uh, yeah, we'll see. So are they talking about two research in in uh, the same branch or in the same branch in uh, tier? That's the, for the special ability. That's what I want to know. So technically, once I will research this. I will have two here, two there, enfin, more than two there, more than two there, two here, uh, two there, and two here. So that will help see 
uh, clarify that. So I would be interested to see if that is the case. Diplomatico action. Okay. The Mota have declared war on the uh, Drago Kingdom. Oh. -ho. So the Malta have declared war on the Dragoles. Interesting. And what is the diplomatic action? We have got so much stuff, uh, which should be great. But uh, to be honest, we are so bored with it. <laughs> if we can start a trade treaty, we can both have something new to play with. Sounds good. All right, so this is the thing where we're going to need to be uh, careful because they declared war, a war towards the Dragul. If we say yes to a treaty with them, the Dragul are not going to like us that much. But at the same time, um, it's going to cost us a little bit of money at the beginning to have the treaty, something like a five credit per turn. But after, it's going to give us 15 credits. So I would say yes, why not? And see how the Dragul are going to respond to that. Also, we have the kayak that I expanded again. Oh, sorry. We researched the technology. I passed that through by, by, by mistake. Okay, so technically we have two research per branch, but we still don't have this. So we need to have my player mass uh, research at least two tech in every field. Wow. Okay, so are they talking like every single field? Like every single field? Because that's going to take a while. Or is it just in every single field? What field are they, are they talking about? That's a good question. All right. So let's try... Um, Since we have um, different races that we are dealing with, I think the cultural exchange would be good. And having the nuclear missiles <laughs> sounds appreciated, like appropriated. And here you go. Our new, uh, no, your, your collective transit unique ability is ready to be used. Oh, okay. So what did trigger that? Okay, so let's um, put this off and put this off. Locked. So I cannot use it anymore. Okay, so what did, did they say? Player mass research at least, at least two tech in every field. Okay, so I think that because I researched this, Now it's ready. Okay, why is that the case? Of course, I missed it because, um, uh, well, no, because I had two here, I have two here, I have two there, I have multiple here, I have two there. Now I can have two here. But I only have one there, but I have another one here. So if I take this off, so this is ready to use. It's say ready. I can use it now. But if I take this off, then it's locked. I cannot use it. So question, if I put that here. Okay. It's unlocked. Okay. Interesting. As far as I understand it, um, I only have one in that field. I have two there, two there, multiple here, two there, and two here. But I only have one here. But I have one there. Okay. But if this counts, then why does it not count for this? If I take this off, I still have two here and two there. That's why I don't understand. But well, anyway, uh, let's do this. And we can use that now. So, require that the technology is currently in research. 
uh, Q to activate, discover the technology. Okay, so we can boost this up and we can do this. Minus one prod. Okay. Um, so we also have our survey ship, which is super important for many reasons. Oh. <clears throat> Antimata. Uh, yeah, st stay right where you are. Um, so it's going to begin to research the things around. We're going to research that black hole and have to go there because that's going to have the most uh, impact for us, which is pretty cool. Um, and we also see that people are expanding. So we should expand as well. Um, I could colonize this planet or I could colonize this planet. This planet is AVG though. I think I'm gonna colonize this planet because it's a desert world and those guys are a desert race. So it's very likely that we're gonna try to colonize this world. Whereas those guys are a swamp world. So they're gonna be wanting to colonize um, but it's unlikely they're gonna colonize the desert one, I think. So I'm gonna send my uh, colonization ship here. Okay, we have the cultural exchange, planetary improvements. Cultural exchange, robot facility, the vault. Okay, so we're nowhere near maximum capacity. I definitely want to have this and that though, culture exchange. So the number of slots is re is decreasing. Because we're gonna have one, two, three, four slots required. So I don't know if we're gonna have the, the space in the planet to uh, do all those uh, improvements, but we, we're gonna check, we're gonna see. Research. Okay, so we did this already. And... I think Terran worlds are, are tolerable for... Oh, no, no. I think it's all style for us. Let's check. Um, yeah, Terran's are all style, but uh, Baron is okay. Alright. Um... You know what, what I think would be cool? Off-world support. So what it does is like it gives us the possibility to create a ship that we can deploy in orbit of, uh, of our planet. And what it does, uh, free support, the ship uh, gives an effect of plus five in the production in the system per infrastructure level in the empire, plus 10 up to plus 50 flat in planetary engineering in Empire per colony planetary engineering infrastructure perk. Okay. So plus 10, plus 25, plus 50 if expert master legendary. 150 production uh, max per support ship. Okay. All right, so globally, uh, it will give plus five production in the system per infrastructure level in the empire. Plus 10 up to plus 50 flat uh, per colony planetary engineering. Okay, so planetary engineering, plus three. Okay, so this is very interesting because as you can see, like there, there are a lot of things that you can do in order to uh, what? Huh. They destroyed the colony ship. Those bastards. Yeah. 
Why did that happen? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so the Dragul and the Mota have signed a peace treaty. That's all good. Okay, so we founded Helium there. That's great. We have a full scan there. Ultra Rich plus 2 in Helium. That's great. What is that? And explored. Okay. We found Antimata there. Okay. Okay, plus four in research, plus two antimatter. That's very good. Diamond Cross Special has been found on. Okay. Oh, Diamond Cross. Okay, so that's an event. So I can send out a survey ship there to investigate. That's good. Um. Okay. Report of space battle in Cree. Okay, so uh, what I would do, because th this cannot be uh, tolerated. I'm gonna send my my forces there uh, because I just lost a colony ship, which is very bad. Uh, colony ships are pretty expensive to do. Takes 68 turns to do. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the population is going to increase uh, sh shortly, so hopefully that's going to help. But that's a big blow. I should have sent an escort with my colonization ship. It's my mistake. Statement from Nova. We have hoped to coexist peacefully with you, but uh, you ramp this guard and disrespect for the de the denizen of the galaxy has made that impossible. To protect the peaceful future of our people, we must bring your kind to an end. Prepare your fleet, for we are coming. Okay, so they declared, the Nova declared war on us. I saw that coming. The path of creation or the path of destruction. Ah, okay, so that's antimatter. Well, we're gonna go with the path of destruction because we need to have some research to uh, fight the Novas. Why not? I like those weapons, so let's go. Path of destruction. Also, want more information about this sector. Okay, so I'm not going to let my survey ship here. Uh, I'm going to send my survey ship uh, there because there is something interesting to discover there. So let's go. Can build support ship. Okay, so this is a very big deal. Support ships are very, 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 very good. Um, to help with production. So, we're going to do the techno capital as soon as possible. And, uh, uh, and also the population increased by one. So, I'm going to re affect all the resources to uh, production momentarily because we really need to pump this up. Yep. Uh, Complete a free colonization ship. What? So a uh, support ship. Okay. Um, completed in. Why is it completed? It's free. Ah, oh, okay. So okay.
Okay, so I have a free colony uh, support ship, which is pretty interesting. And it's there already. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, so the technology gave it to me. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense to me. Okay, so uh, now what I want... Um, Uh, there's so much good choices, jeez. Um, I think I would like to have a star base, which will allow me to construct ships bigger than destroyers. Plus two uh, in ship support uh, points to empire, plus one to sensor range. Um, not effective against blockades. Star base is automatically replaced as soon as more orbital advanced stations are available. The orbital uh, station can be upgraded with additional modules, uh, which will be available as soon as the technology is available. Yeah. Sounds like a good choice to me. Okay, um, that's fine. Culture points. Okay, uh, this is a very good question. Uh, smugglers, pirates. I want more uh, re uh, remote research speed. That's really going to help us. Combat. So what is two frigates against? We don't know. Yes. Ah, it auto resolved the combat. Chunks. I wanted to see it. Anyway, we uh, we destroyed one ship and one fled. So you see, you can have the combat auto resolve, but this is unfortunate. I wanted to um to see the combat. And we have one of our leaders leveling up. So um, we can choose in what we want him to level up. And I think this respect the strategy and planning skill of the leader, increasing the Empire ship support and reduce the maintenance cut of the fleet. Or uh, this skill determines the largest ship class that the leader is able to command. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna have a bigger ship, be able to construct bigger ship and destroy. So we're gonna do this. Saboteur or trader plus five to treaties, or can destroy, and up to level one grand military uh, installation can destroy a star base, can destroy a military ship up to a cruiser class. Well, the dis the saboteur would be a good choice. Indeed, very good. I mean, I must say, guys, I'm having a lot of fun uh, <laughs> with the way the game uh, moves, progress. Things are getting interesting. We're engaged in a conflict with the Novas. Uh, we're expanding our territory. We are, we are developing our leaders. The game is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, I really like it. So I think I will end the video there. Um, I think I will do another uh, video and after that I will do the review on the game what my thoughts are but so far I mean I'm super happy with it uh, I think it's a very interesting game um, it has definitely its own niche on, on draw I, I, I don't necessarily think it's fair to compare this game uh, against Galactic Civilization 3 and um uh, Stellaris and Distant World Universe. I think it's um I mean I, I think it's maybe um a crossover between Galactic Civilization and uh in not distant worlds but 
Yeah, it's it's a diff it's a simplified version of Galactic Civilization Three, but a more more acts around combat, more military, and a little bit more simplified in some stuff. That's what I'm getting so far, uh, and a more act around characters uh, and things like that. But um, I don't know. I will play another another video uh, to have a better a better feel of the game. Regardless. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. That will really help the channel. If you have uh, any comments about the game, uh, thing that I missed, or question that you have about the game, please leave it in the comment section below. And I will catch you on the next video. Thank you, guys. Bye.